question. <laughs> what law school did you attend, and where did you place in that class? And the other question oh, is, yes. could you quickly... I, I think, we I, I, think I probably Reagan. have a much higher IQ than you do. I you cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. Bresco was also a major campaign contributor to Obama and served on his finance committee when he ran for U.S. Senate. I'm going to make some mistakes uh, every once in a while. Last year, Obama became embroiled in a real estate controversy of his own. On the same day that Obama purchased the sprawling South Side home, Rezco's wife bought the adjacent vacant lot. At the time, Tony Rezco was the target of a federal investigation that resulted in his indictment in October on charges he tried to solicit kickbacks in return for helping secure state pension fund business. In November, Obama called that real estate transaction a boneheaded mistake. You know, one of the things you purchase when you enter into public life is, is that there are going to be a different set of standards. And you were asked, is he ready? You said, I think he can be ready, but right now I don't believe he is. The presidency is not something that lends itself to on-the-job training. I think that I stand by the statement. Is he young, inexperienced? And I know that I don't look like the Americans who've previously spoken in this great city. You know, he, oh, he's not patriotic enough. He, he's got a funny name. He, you know, he doesn't look like all those other presidents on those dollar bills. The point I was making was not that my grandmother uh, harbors uh, any racial animosity. She doesn't. Right. But she is a uh, typical white person. Obama, if you could confront Mr. Obama tomorrow, how would you pin him down when he uses that word change? Well, I, I probably wouldn't do it directly as much as I would go to his supporter if I, if I was addressing supporters of the audience. That um, ch change means nothing. It's just the word, and it's a cliche. And just to repeat it has no meaning. You have to say. What are you going to change? And I would argue, you offer no change. 